guys i wanted to do another haul video because i have purchased some stuff some of it is from today and some of it are from previous trips so yeah so for victoria's secrets i went for their semi-annual sale online and i got some sweatpants these are olive green and they just say pink on them I ended up getting some campus pants from Pink as well. They are the marled gray kind. And they have that on them. These are so comfy. The only thing is, is they don't have the, lease line, the fleece lining. It just feels kind of like a towel with like some other kind of material. But they're still comfy. And when I purchased those two, I also got this pink hoodie. It's by the, I think it's the Varsity hoodie. I really like the way that they make this, where there's no band at the bottom, it's a little bit looser. It has a hoodie. This one says, go pink or go home. But this one has really soft, like, lining on it. So this next thing I ordered off of Amazon, it is by Billabong, and it says Part Mermaid. And it's like this really pretty turquoisey teal color, and then the Part Mermaid is like neon pink. I don't know if it's going to show up like that. It's showing up like orange or something. No, I'm going to have it on my head as you can see, but yeah. It's so cute. I love it. I purchased three bathing suits from Victoria's Secret when they released their new line, but I ended up sending two of them back because I just didn't really like how they were. So I did keep one, and this is the one that I kept. It is white, and it has this little like, embellishments or beading across the top, and it has the string ties, a little tassel, super cute. The only thing that sucks is when I wash this. I accidentally let it stay in the washing machine while it was still wet and this little pattern from the tie the dark blue kind of like stained the crotch a little so it's like from here to here is like stained with little marks yeah you can see I have to try to get those out with like a stain remover or something and then here's the top part It's so, so cute though. But it also stained one of the cups on the side. That sucks. <clears throat> My voice is being all weird, sorry. Yeah, it's got the cute little tassels on here as well. It's so, so cute. And like the blues like match really well i just thought it looked so cute together i went on to forever 21 i also noticed that they have swimsuits and there was a little preview there because i had hair in my eye <laughs> so i bought this one it is this really pale like dusty pink and it's got like like kind of little strings i don't know why the color is showing up weird on my camera hopefully i can fix that because yeah it is very, very, very cheeky, um, so I'm not too sure how I feel about that. It does have the string, so I can tighten it, which makes it a little bit nicer. And then here is the top. I am obsessed with this top. It is so cute. That is why I bought it. <laughs> There's the little fringes. Although it sucks because it's so close to like my skin color. I would need a tan, like really bad tan. Not a really bad tan, but I would need a tan really bad. Yeah. <laughs> the bathing suit I bought is also from Forever 21, and it is also very, very cheeky. It even says on this little tag on the front, Brazilian. So, you know. This one I'm still unsure about, which I'm really sad because I wanted a bathing suit like this. Um, it was more like tan gold color. But I did not buy it, and then I saw this one. It's kind of like looks really similar, so I bought it. But yeah, so this is the bottom. It is the same dusty pink color with gold, like silver metal dots. 
Okay, this one does not have the strings to tie it tighter and it is very tiny on the bootay. But this is what the top looks like and obviously again I got it for the top. It is so so cute and it has the back as these things. It just ties. I mean it's so cute. That's what's so sad. Like if they had another like bottom option I would probably get the other one because that one is not so flattering because it's kind of loose. <laughs> But yeah, so that is what that one looks like. Okay, I'm going to preface this before I show this. If I see any pervy or like creepy unneeded comments, I will delete them. Possibly might block people because I just want to share this with my viewers and I don't really want to feel uncomfortable on my own videos and what I'm posting. So please do not post any gross comments. I wanted to show this because I thought this was a really good deal and I really liked it and I thought some other viewers that are women would like it as well. Okay. So anyways, I went to Victoria's Secrets. I had a $10 off of a bra and I ended up finding this one. I saw it in the catalog. I thought it was really cute. It reminds me of 411 stuff, but it's like an actual like fitted bra. So it looks like this. It's kind of like this natural off-white kind of beigey background and it has white lace overlay and I think it just looks so nice. It reminds me so much again of the 411 Lemons and the back of it is just kind of like this fishnetty white kind of lace. It's focusing on my face though. <laughs> there you go. And the really cool thing about this one is it's kind of like, I guess it's the demi bra, I don't really know. But you can remove the straps as well and it's a multi-wear or multi-way wear or something. So yeah, I just thought this was really cute. It was like $62 but I got it for $52 with my $10 off coupon and I would recommend this bra because it's really nice. I'm still sure I'm going to see a pervy comment so whatever. Then I went to Nordstrom Rack. I'd never been to a Nordstrom Rack and I was kind of expecting more. It was basically like Ross and actually some of the shoes at Ross are nicer looking than the ones at Nordstrom Rack. I went in to try to find a pair of rain boots. I found some Hunter rain boots that were kind of color blocked. They were navy down at like the foot and black up at like the top of the boot. But they had all these scuffs and like marks on them and it's like they're a hundred like twelve dollars for shoes that look like shit i was like um no so anyways i didn't buy any shoes because there wasn't like, that great of selection and i kept going to the shoes and every aisle that said six and a half i would go down and it would not be for six and a half it would be for sevens and then finally i had to go to like the very back corner of the store and that's where all the six and six and a halfs were. And I'm like, why would you just like next time just put an arrow to the six and a half instead of putting on the end of every single aisle and there not being those shoe sizes in that aisle. Like that made no sense. Okay, well anyways, rant over. It's, everybody was always okay, sorry, rant not over. <laughs> but everybody was always talking so highly of Nordstrom Rack, but it looked really janky. <laughs> anyways, okay, yeah. So I got this shirt, it's by Wild Pearl, and it's kind of like the wife beater material, but it's flowy. And just kind of like a plain tank top. And I got this cover up, it's by Rip Curl, and it's just really cute, white, like gauzy dress, strapless, and it goes all the way down. And I thought it was so cute. I actually had seen, <laughs> this is really random, there's a Mary Kate and Ashley movie called Holiday in the Sun. One of the outfits when the girls goes on a date, she's wearing a dress similar to this but it has straps and I had always wanted a dress like that and when I found this one I had to get it because I was like, it's just like the perfect dress that I always tried to find. So yeah, I can use it as like a summer dress or I can use it as a cover up. I thought it's so cute. 
So the next place I went to is TJ Maxx. I saw this shirt first and I had to get it. If you're a One Tree Hill fan or a Brooke Davis fan, you will definitely know why I got this shirt. Clothes before bros. Or as Brooke Davis would say, clothes over bros. I had had to, had to, had to, had to get the shirt. Because I love Brooke Davis. Yeah. It's like super, just like slouchy kind of feeling. Like it feels nice though. And it was only $12.99. It is the brand Enough About Me dot dot dot. So cute. I think I'm just gonna like wear this tonight because it's just so comfy. So the next item I got from TJ Maxx is this cutoff tank. It's called it's a S C Sun Sand. Again, it's just kind of flowy. I just wanted kind of simple tops that I need to throw on. It is by Gaze, G-A-Z-E, USA. And then I got this shirt. I'm not sure how it's going to work. I thought it was so, so cute, though. It's just kind of like a high neck, white, kind of creamy lace. It's a little bit of a high-low. And in the back, it's still like that high neck with a keyhole. But right here is where the lining stops. And the back is like the see-through lace. And I just thought that was so pretty. Because you can dress it up, but it's not too dressy, and it can be dressed down really easily. It's called by Peach Royal. And the next thing I got is this... I actually don't know what this kind of thing is called. It's like... It's not a picture frame, but it's a, like a burlap board. It's by Nicole Miller. And it even came with little, like, pearl pins to put into it. I just thought it was so cute. It looks so shabby chic and like so cute. <laughs> and then if you want, I'm pretty sure you can unhinge the back. You just have to like take off the little hook things and the back should open and you can put like other stuff in there. Like it's like a picture frame or something. So that was really, really cute. That is the last thing that I got. I want to thank everybody for watching this video. I'm sorry about all my rants and rambling. And I thank you a lot for hopefully not putting any pervy comments to where you make me feel uncomfortable. Because I do really love filming videos, but some of the some of the comments just like put me off. And it's like when I feel uncomfortable, I don't want to keep putting myself out there to be like harassed you know and I mean it's not like I'm like being harassed but it's just when you make somebody feel uncomfortable they obviously are uncomfortable and when you're not comfortable you don't really want to do stuff so yeah <laughs> anyways thank you for watching my video and I will see you guys on my next one <laughs>